Okay, so here is how to pick a good Piel de Sapo melon. The, 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 here's the, the main feature, the track marks. You see all the track marks? That symbolizes it's been ripening on the plant for a lot, good time and it should be deliciously sweet and juicy and soft on the inside. You can see there's lots of track marks, both at the front and at the back. This is where it was attached to the plant and it goes all the way, all the way around, straight to the front this side. This is where the nipple is, is what I call it. It's, it's nothing sexual of course, but just like the, this, this, here's where you can feel it generally to see if it's soft. So generally the two things you're looking for in a good melon, generally speaking, is the track marks and this includes in the in the yellow melons too. You want a little bit of the track marks, even any track marks, and if it's soft is the second thing. So those two things is what you want. It's soft, feel it around the edges, Press it, and if it's hard, it's going to be hard and not tasty on the inside. And if it's soft, if it gives a bit of pressure, it's more ripe. And if it has the track marks, they're the ones you want. Track marks is the number one thing I look for because track marks usually always come with some softness too, a little bit of give. So I'm expecting this to be extremely juicy, very sweet. And I'll open it up now, okay? Okay, so this variety here, the bolo, it might be a little bit crunchier than usual. I wouldn't have expected it to be totally and utterly melt in your mouth juicy and sweet it is it is sweet and it's juicy it's not as soft as i expected but it is absolutely delicious it's really nice it's very tasty it's got a very good flavor profile and a delicious juiciness sweetness mm, delicious so overall this is definitely a good melon to pick so remember those two factors softness and the track marks and you'll get a good melon and the third thing you want to do is generally smell but smell isn't always an indicator, but when it comes to Gallia or the Piel de Sapo or the yellow, go for the softness and the track marks. And with the Gallia especially, there's more s smell, aroma. So I hope that video helped. Um, please share, please subscribe if you're new. Um, check in my playlists and um, other videos that I put up on my channel and on health of body, mind, emotions and spirit. And have a look at my description links below. And thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye now. To your health. And always.